Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to use the voice keyboard on your iPhone. This is a great feature that converts your spoken words into text, making it much easier to type out messages, notes, or anything else you need. Let's dive right in. Voice to text, or as some might call it, the voice keyboard, is a handy feature that turns your speech into written text. The great thing about this is that the recipients of your messages won't know that you used your voice to type out the message. It appears just like any other text message. When you open the messages app, you might notice there are two microphone icons, one next to the text field and one below the keyboard. Both of these microphones perform the same function, so you don't need to worry about which one to use. Just pick the one that's most convenient for you. If you want to use this feature, you need to make sure it's enabled. To do that, open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and tap on general, then navigate to the keyboard section. Here you'll find a section labeled dictation. Make sure the enable dictation toggle is turned on. If it's often you want to use voice to text, just switch it on. If prompted, confirm the action. Once enabled, you can start using the voice keyboard. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard, start speaking, and watch as your words are converted to text. It's a seamless way to get your thoughts down without typing. Now, if for any reason you want to disable this feature, the process is just as easy. Go back to the settings app, into the general section, then the keyboard section, and find the dictation section. Turn off the enable dictation toggle. When you do this, the microphone icons will disappear from your keyboard, indicating that voice-to-text is disabled. Even with voice-to-text turned off, you can still send voice messages in the Messages app. Simply click the A icon next to the text field, which looks like the App Store icon, and you'll see the option to send a voice memo. This is a separate feature that remains available regardless of whether dictation is enabled or not. And that's it. Using the voice keyboard on your iPhone can make typing much faster and easier, especially when you're on the go. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.